Hi boys and girls, it's Nona the Naturalist with Dana Wharf Whale Watching. And today's topic is one that is, I'm often asked on the boat and people say to me, Nona, are whales and fish the same? Now for today's lesson, I'm still staying safe at home, but I thought we'd come outside to my patio. You might hear my fountain in the background. Boys and girls, it's not the same as the hum of that engine and being on the ocean, but at least I get the feel that the water's nearby. So today we're going to talk about whales and fish and compare and contrast them. You know, the system we use for classifying animals goes all the way back to the 1700s. There was a man by the name of Carlos Linnaeus, that's his scientific name, and he came up with this system of kingdoms. And all animals in the animal kingdom are divided into animals that don't have a bone and animals that do have bones. And the big scientific word is invertebrate if you don't have bones, and vertebrates if you have bones. Now, of the animals that have bones, there are five major groups. There's the Pisces, the fish, the amphibians, like frogs and newts, and the reptiles, like snakes, lizards, turtles. There's aves for our birds, and there's mammals, like you and I, like lions and tigers and bears, oh my, and of course our cetaceans, which are our dolphins and whales. So I thought today we would use a thinking map and compare fish and mammals. So I've started my thinking map and this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna draw um, some things on here that help us understand the difference between fish and mammals. Now, first of all, we're gonna start with my mackerel. And I'm so thankful that Captain Frank from Dana Wharf Whale Watching, who happens to be our photographer today, brought me a mackerel that I could use for today's lesson. Now, a mackerel is a fish, but what makes a fish a fish? There's three very important things that I want us to think of when we think of a fish. So a mackerel is a fish. Fish do not have lungs and they do not breathe their, um, get their oxygen from the air. Instead, they have gills located on the inside of this gill covering, or another big scientific word is the operculum. We're gonna look at those a little closer later. So when a fish wants to breathe, it does so in the water. It opens its mouth, it does not swallow the water, but the water passes through its mouth and comes right out through the gills on the other side. So, fish have gills. Fish don't have hair, they have scales on the outside of their body. So most fish have scales. Another characteristic of fish, and it's not true of all fish, but most fish lay eggs. Another characteristic of fish is they are cold-blooded. Now, what do I mean by cold-blooded? What I mean is they cannot control their body temperature. Their temperature inside their body will be the same as the temperature of the water they're in. So, oh my goodness, I hear an amphibian in my yard right now. How does that compare to our gray whale here? Well, our gray whale is a mammal like you and I. So I'm gonna write mammal up here. And what are some of the characteristics of a mammal? Well, mammals don't have gills. Mammals have lungs. And the way a whale breathes, it has its nose or blowholes on the top of its head that are connected right to their lungs. They have to come up to the surface and get their oxygen from the air and they go directly into lungs, not through gills, getting oxygen out of the water. Mammals have live births. And if you were watching the video the other day, I read the book and that little baby whale has to get to the surface very quickly after it's born to get its first breath of air. 
mammals also have hair. So they don't have scales on their skin. They have hair. And yes, all whales and dolphins have hairs. Most have little whiskers on the front. Okay? What's another characteristic that wakes, makes them a mammal? <gasps> Live birth, lung, hairs. They're warm blooded. That means they maintain their body temperature. Boys and girls, our temperature is about the same as a whale, 98.6. And if we were to get a fever and our temperature just changed one or two degrees, we get very, very sick, but not, but not a cold-blooded animal. Their temperature can fluctuate quite a lot in the daytime. Well, there's some other things that make whales and fish different. One thing is whales have flippers. Sometimes we refer to them as fins, but they have flippers on the side of their body, whereas fish have fins. They not only have a dorsal fin, they have paired pectoral fins on the sides of their body. They have a pelvic fin. They have an atal fin. And another big difference is fish have a caudal fin. And for fish, their fin goes back and forth, side to side. But our whale has flukes, and flukes go up and down. So whales have flukes. Fish have fins. But what are some of the things that they really do have in common? Well, whales and fish live in water. That's one of the main things that I like to think about them having together. They both swim to get around. They both have eyes and ears. Now, there are so many things that are the same or different between whales and fish, but I think if you can remember that whales and dolphins are mammals that are warm-blooded and have these characteristics, and fish are cold-blooded with these characteristics, that whales have flippers, fish have fins, a fish has a caudal fin in the back that goes up, that goes side to side, that gives them their locomotion to go forward, where whales and dolphin have flukes that go up and down. I think that's enough information to know the difference. But would you like to see the gills really closely? I thought what I'd do real quick is, I'd just take my scissors of science today and I would cut off the gill covering or the operculum. And I wanted you to see these feathery, feathery gill rakes. Fish have four gill rakes. I'm just gonna quickly cut one out. I think I have two here and show you that as the water passes through these gill rakes, there's lots of surface there for the gills to absorb the oxygen right out of the water and then transfer that into their blood system. Whereas our gray whale is gonna breathe that oxygen right into their lungs. So boys and girls, that's enough today on the difference between whales that are mammals and a mackerel that's a fish. Have a great afternoon, bye-bye.